Hi everybody, it's Pam at Silver Sparkles and um, <laughs> you can probably tell my desk is very messy and even though we're about to head into the new year, I'm not quite yet motivated to clean it up. So instead, I'm gonna make a video showing you um, another way to make some interesting um, collage master board or uses even as snippets. So um, I love working with circles and I love um, using up scraps, right? Um, and I always have a lot um, of scraps because of how I craft. So today what we're gonna do is um, make on just a leftover piece of paper. It, it's not cardstock, but it's a fairly thick just piece of paper. Um, some of these fun pieces of collage. Um, and then I'll show you um, what I did was I actually then took a piece, a portion of this one and um, added it to a larger collage. So again, I oftentimes will cut snippets or little pieces up and use them in larger projects. But this is just a fun, relaxing way to make something that really turns a bunch of scraps into something beautiful. So um, obviously you need some kind of hole punch or circle punch, and you can do this any size, but obviously, you know, if you go to a smaller one, it, I think it'll have a really neat effect, you'll need more. Um, and if you go with a great much larger, you'll need fewer circles. Um, I decided for this one, I'm using a one and a quarter inch, just my add on here. I've already cut some circles, but honestly, my, my approach, oh, other things you need, some kind of glue or adhesive, okay? Um, and I do usually distress ink around the edges just because I like that, that look, but you could skip that. Um, and when I'm done, I am gonna trim these up. So scissors or some kind of paper trimmer, or you can leave it as is. And I, I seriously, like, I, I don't overthink what, paid, what papers to use. I just go into my scrap pile and start punching. Um, some of my papers are, are two-sided, it's a cute little kitten face. Um, and, and some are not. So, um, you know, both both work fine. If they're double-sided, obviously you can choose which side to use. Um, the only limitation is the size circle you use and then what size scraps you have. Um, I've also done similar type of um, masterboard collage using um, book page and or interspersing some book page. You guys know I love to work with that. Um, so that that's also would be an interesting um, effect too. All right, so a um, few of these I've already inked and obviously this isn't the most interesting thing to do is watch someone ink edges. Um, so I, I may skip doing this. Um, for this particular project. You can always, when you're done, if you didn't ink them, you can always come back through and add, add some. Um, and some people work that way instead of doing it ahead of time. Um, again, personal preference. So I may have enough circles. We'll, we'll see how we do as I go. But again, I'm not going to spend too much time doing that right now. Um, I am using my favorite glue, um, wet white glue. Uh, this is the art glitter glue that I just put in these smaller squeeze bottles um, to make my life a little bit easier. So um, th the big thing is, and if you don't want a mess around the edges, ooh, excuse me. You, you, you may want to put a scrap piece underneath so you don't have to worry too, too much. Um, and you just start laying your circles down. Again, I do not overthink this. I tend to always be happy at the end. 
Um, and I just, I, I don't spend time um, trying to figure out the perfect placement of each pattern of paper and color. So, um, it, it honestly is as simple as this. Um, in a moment, I'll show you how we start overlapping them. Um, to start to get that fun scalloped effect. And you can go to the middle like that. You honestly can go back and start on the end again. Um, I've done a little of both on this one um, to get a different overlapping effect. Um, but again, don't overthink it and enjoy. It's, it's very relaxing. Um, I always joke with my husband. I'm like, I like to tear a paper and glue it back together um, to make something new. And I think that would probably make some people crazy. And then there's the people like me that think that's fun. So we're getting ready to head into the new year. And um, a, a while back, I don't know how many years ago, I stopped doing uh, New Year's resolutions. I don't know if any of you guys do New Year's resolutions. Um, instead, I have jumped on the bandwagon of doing, um, like an intention or a, um, word, a phrase. Last year, my, my phrase was, this is an opportunity. <laughs> um, and it was definitely a year of change, um, in, in my life. I, started a, a, a with the same organization but a promotion in my day job my real job um which required me to remember that as i'm having to learn some new things and deal with with some some different parts of the work um and this year i decided it's going to be more important than ever um that i stay positive so so i've decided my word for this year is positivity and when I feel myself um, starting to go a little too far, um, venting or um, worrying, um, I'm gonna just try to really switch it back to just being positive and grateful and thankful and all those things. Um, so I don't know if you guys have any intentions or words or resolutions for the new year why don't you share them with me um, i'll be interested i i don't get a ton of views on youtube yet or a, a ton of comments but i certainly um i do read them and i do try to respond to all of them so um that's one of my other goals i'm starting to set is do a little more with my youtube channel i get a lot of requests on Instagram and on Pinterest for um, tutorials. And um, partly it's being confident and um, not worrying about talking so much on camera, um, but also just finding the time. Um, even though I do craft a lot, um, it's a little different um, just sitting down and making a journal or collaging and then versus thinking through and having your supplies organized and um, wanting everything to be perfect. <laughs> so, um, but I am going to try this year because I've got a lot of people that want to see how I make some of my mini journals, um, how I do some of my different kinds of binding. So, Hopefully you will stay tuned and that'll be something you'll want to join me with this year. Um, let's see, I'm going to keep going a little bit longer because I kind of wanted to show you um, what happens 
um, once you get a, 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 a larger section completed and how you can cut it into snippets, strips, or even squares if you wanted to do some um, cute quote cards or something like that. Let's see. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is these are all different. Um, put this little cute cat face in here. Um, thicknesses. So some of this is pretty thick cardstock, and some is just uh, the digital print, printing kits. I've just done on a, a a nice piece, but a piece of. Um, white paper. Again, all of it works. Um, and, uh, and don't worry if that happens because we're going to be trimming this edge off anyway. But then I don't gunk up my pad, which I'm really good at doing. <laughs> um, if you look closely, you can see it gets kind of icky. Um, sometimes when I take my pictures, I'm like, ooh, well, maybe I need to rethink that. But again, at heart, I just like to to share my work. <laughs> and I'm not the best photographer or videographer. I did, oh, that's something I did for the New Year as well. I did sign up um, for a, how to use your iPhone camera um, to make better videos and pictures and things, hoping that that'll help me some as I continue um, to post videos here. And I think a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram. I hope you do and, and Pinterest um, and get a little bit better with my composition or at least using the features of the camera that is on my phone. So I've done the first um, lesson. And again, it's the taking the time from other things to to sit and learn and enjoy. But I am looking forward to, to doing that over the next um, next few weeks. Um, I am taking a, a vacation, um, a, a stay at home vacation um, next week and hope to if I feel like it, um, clean up my craft room some and, and, and get ready for 2023 and also um, enjoy some journaling. It gets so busy in December um, that I don't get to do as much crafting and journaling as I like. All right, and um, obviously if watching me glue down circles is not um, your favorite thing, you please fast forward. Um, let me use this mix up a little bit of that blue. Okay, um, I'm gonna do at least one more row. And that, this is the other beautiful thing. If you pick a piece of paper and you decide you're done, just stop. Like, I don't have to go to the end of that piece of paper. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. If I don't, and neither should you. Again, make life easy. Um, let's pick just a few more. These are some I had left over from when I did that one yesterday and have been inked. Some of them have. All right. It's too close to that one. All right. Um, put this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna call this one done. All right. So it's not pretty. I love how the circles overlap. So I'm gonna walk over to my trimmer, and I'm gonna trim this, and I'm gonna come back probably with with two strips. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, now one thing you're gonna see <laughs> is I need to sharpen my guillotine trimmer. Don't really know what happened there, but that's okay. That's why you have a pair of scissors. All right, so now you have some wonderful collage um, made with circles that you can use for a variety of projects. You can cut them to any size. Um, they add a lot of little oomph. You can layer um, more circles on top if you want to, to kind of brought the circles over into this part of this collage. Um, so anyway, I hope you have fun with that, and I hope it's something that you enjoy and um, will be able to use. Y'all have a great afternoon.